Did you know that children's museums are the fastest growing type of museum in the country? Do you know what a children's museum is? Over 85,000 visitors tour the museum annually and community programs inspire another 10,000 children from schools throughout central Kentucky. Since 1990, over one million visitors have enjoyed nine discovery zones filled with interactive exhibits designed to inspire imagination and curiosity. Let's tune in and learn how the Explorium creates a fun and dynamic hands-on learning environment and what happens without. Love it. Love this place. Love this place. Well, we've got horses, environmental science. It's a hands-on for young children, but while they're doing the hands-on, they also actually are learning. And there's lots of things as they get older that they can read. Well, we've got stuff about gravity and the laws of physics way up there. She likes the water, I think, the most. She's always enjoyed playing in the water. I play with the birds and... What else I play with? We've got pretty much everything here, so if you ask me what my favorite part of the museum was, I think I would probably have to say the museum. Their imagination just kind of takes over, and they go and they play in ways they wouldn't at home or wouldn't at a park. I mean, seriously, who, who doesn't like glow-in-the-dark geodes? What you started in the museum kind of grows beyond that. In a classroom, you have a lot of children who are at different learning levels, and because they come, they can kind of explore on their own time. So a child who might be interested in the arts or the sciences has the time to explore that area and grow and learn in it while having fun. That way, each child has a chance to grow and learn at their own pace, which is really important to the development of a child. I help people. It's trying to just engage the, the guests that come in and the children and make them feel comfortable and show that they're in a fun but learning type of atmosphere. We have everything from infant to about 12 years old, but you know, people come in all ages. We like to have it an adult and child interaction. We don't like to see just the kids going around and the parents sitting on the bench. That's what we try to like avoid. We like to see, you know, adults explaining like, hey, this is how you do this. I want to see you and then explain to me what you just did. Like that's kind of the perfect scenario that we'd like to see. Without us being able to reach them, that can make all the difference in the future. And the goal is to enrich the lives of these children, ultimately. Our philosophy is kind of like um, learn while playing. And we have things like that throughout the museum, like the water table. That's really popular. And, you know, that's teaching kids how, like, you know, waterways work. Let's Move, um, it's a great exhibit by one of our partners. And um, it's a really great chance for them to have fun learn about maybe endangered species, the different planets, or even their shapes and colors, while also being actively fit. It's awesome. I'm more of an artsy person as opposed to a science person. So I like coming in here, I like being surrounded by all the art, and I like helping kids um, draw or color. It's educational, and then we try to make it a little fun so that it's not just boring learning stuff. My favorite exhibit is the bugs. Well, I like it because it's got bugs that you know you normally wouldn't see and they're big and creepy and cool and it's just interesting to see you know what kind of bugs live in different parts of the world that you know we just see little tiny bugs and usually they're like gross <laughs> and then they kind of look at it for a minute and they're like well, actually that's pretty cool <laughs> don't quite think that i do have a favorite place because all of it is seriously seriously awesome We do love it here, and I think it's just great for the whole community, and, and the price is right. It's just uh, all kinds of people can come, young parents, grandparents. I just couldn't imagine. I could not imagine if it weren't here. Um, I feel like they'll be losing a really val valuable asset to the community. There's not a lot of museums or anything like that um, in Lexington as it is. I mean, there will be a lot of upset parents and school teachers and kids won't have the opportunity to come in and you know get a different take on learning. And to close the Children's Museum it's I mean a lot of kids really like coming here you know they're actually learning stuff they're they get to do hands-on activities. 
we're all about helping kids learn and like kind of putting our own spin on it, making it fun. And you know, it's nice to get out of the classroom and get away from the books and the you know constant daily schedule. And if you post something like this, there's there's nothing else in Lexington or even really our, the surrounding counties that would um, fill that void. And if we don't open, then you know, there's nowhere else in the area that has this kind of opportunity. And, you know, we're the only children's museum technically in the state, so we just really try to help out with that stuff. Let's just say I wouldn't come out of my room for a long time. It's a fun activity, and if you don't have stuff like this, and you know, there's really no way kids can really learn just by you talking to them. So I think the hands-on, you know, getting to, it helps them learn and develop a little bit better. Well, I think places like this are great to have anywhere that you can. Kids get to learn a lot of stuff, have fun while they're learning. I think it's a very important thing for any state to have, and I think it would be a big mistake not to have it. It always makes it worth it when kids leave and they say things like, this has been the best day of my life. Even now, we'll have people who come in who are members through their parents as children, and now they bring their children, and it's really exciting to see those generations. You know, we work to help kids learn, then I think that you know we do a good job and we're an important part of the community.